And, I, and if I read philosophy, I tend not to read second-rate philosophy. And so I've tried to avoid the postmodernists to some degree because their, their incoherency is one of the least of their sins. But they don't care about that. No, no, you've got to understand, man. The, it's modernists and enlightenment people and even traditionalists who care about coherency. The postmodernists don't believe in coherency. They don't believe in, and I'm, I'm not making this up. This is part of their philosophy. They don't believe in logic. You know, De Derrida says straight out that Western society is fallow, logocentric, by which he means male-centered and privileging the idea of logic. Well, he doesn't buy any of that. He doesn't think that there's a truth that's out there. He doesn't believe that individuals can reach any sort of truth by thinking. He certainly doesn't believe that we can move towards truth in dialogue, because that's dialogic, right? There's none of that. You wonder, well, why, don't the, why do the postmodern types keep other thinkers off the campus? Well, it's not because they're afraid. Well, although some of them are, but they use their fragility as a mask for their, you know, the underlying philosophical, their underlying philosophical and political interests. They do that fragmentarily. It's not like every social justice warrior is a, you know, sword-carrying postmodernist, but the ideas are fragmented and distributed among them like they're distributed among a mob. And if you put the whole mob together, you get the whole postmodernist thing happening at the same time. And that's how ideas have people instead of the other way around. Anyways, forget about logic. That's out the window. That's just a construct of Western society. And, and the whole point of the construct was to oppress other people and to take their wealth and to privilege the people who live within that so-called logic system so that they can justify to themselves and other people their pre predator rapaciousness, straight and simple. And that's partly because postmodernism was influenced by Marxism, and of course that's what the Marxists think about any situation where there's a, let's call it a power status differential, the people at the top are only there because they've stole everything from the people at the bottom.